and welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at therapeutic propping. So today we're gonna to be looking at how we can build a nest on the reformer for some of our clients with a little bit of a broken wingspan. Now, what I see a lot coming into the studio, especially recently, are a lot of clients that either have a tear in the rotator cuff or they've had a rotator cuff repair, but this work also works absolutely beautifully with anyone with any type of shoulder dysfunction or anyone really who's very tight in the pecs and their pecs seem to roll the shoulders forward. So the reformer is a really wonderful place to teach supine arm work, but a lot of times this flat bed of the reformer, this carriage, is simply not enough uh, support to come to contour to the body. As we know, human bodies have lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, um, and we really want to try to bring the floor to the client so the client can start to find ease in their training and their retraining of their movements. So first and foremost, as you've seen on a lot of our videos, we have a smart spine pillow. You can also you know, just go to your regular um, big box stores and get a couple of different sized pillows. Airplane pillows are really great. You can stack it up if you don't have one of these and you're gonna place it on. Now this is gonna be really nice to have this ramp because a lot of people that have this tightness in the front of the shoulders, it really does move the, the humerus, internally rotating it, causing a lot of compression at the level of the collarbones. The collarbones get stuck. The upper trapezius really starts to activate and they don't have access to their lower trapezius for the shoulder girdle stabilization or the triceps and into the serratus arm movement. But what this nice little ramp does here is it gives a little bit of flexion to the thoracic spine, which is essential in creating a well-balanced shoulder girdle. But a lot of times this isn't quite enough because if someone has tight shoulders and they lay down onto the reformer, there's all of this negative space between the shoulder and the floor. A lot of people aren't comfortable here and they'll tense up more and when they put the arms in the straps it really is a detriment and it's a missed opportunity to be very diligent and detail oriented and getting that external rotation of the humerus and the internal rotation of the of lower arm bone that's essential to correct shoulder mechanics. So this is a super easy thing that you can do is I have these nice uh, yoga blankets that I've rolled up. You can also use bath towels. They will work really well. And what I'm going to do is put this right in front of the shoulder rest here, and we're going to create a little bit of a nest for your clients. So this is really nice because it gives a lot of sensory information from the blankets into the arms. So it's going to take me a moment to get in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna make sure that these are underneath the wings of the shoulder blades. As you can see here, I let my arms rest down and I can really allow, even with tight pecs, a lot of ease in the upper arm bone and I can feel an expansion in the collarbone while working on this idea of the T8 anchoring into the floor. This is a really nice spot for people, especially if they had a lot of trauma and a lot of guarding around a surgery area or an area of injury. Then from here, I can take the straps by my ears, if I can grab them, into the short straps legs can go up into tabletop and as i'm holding myself here i still have this idea that i can ground my back of my deltoid into these nice beautiful blankets here find my external rotation and then as the arms go down into traditional supine arm work this is where it stops me which is perfect because i can really expand my collarbones nice and wide i have lots and lots of support lots of sensation all the way through the arm, which is essential into finding this ease and range of motion and into uptraining the triceps, serratus, and lower trapezius to start to talk. Now, just to show you as a little bit of contrast, if I take the blankets out 
and put them to the side and emulate what would it be like if I had very tight shoulders or an injury. If I bring the arms here and I can't bring my shoulders down, a lot of people arch their back. We don't want that. We want that grounding and that flexion of that T8 anchor. Then without our stopping point, the hands go low. And if someone has tight pecs and shoulders, this is a lot of time what it looks like instead of finding here. So this is a super simple way to support your clients and get them to do supine arm work in a more biomechanically safe, sound way, especially if there's injury. That's all for today. If you have any observations or questions that you'd like to see on an upcoming episode, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum. See you next time and never stop learning. Oh,